Alright you guys, I'm going to be showing you guys how to change a uh, inside of a Delta faucet, um, the cartridge out. This is a, a 1300 and 1400 series. This is for the tub shower valve, okay? This right here is actually uh, for our bathtub, but I'm actually doing our shower, what's right next door, because uh, this is just easier to show you because ours is a stand-up shower. So I'm just going to show you how to change out the cartridge on the third. Mine is a 1300 series, okay, for Delta. And what's the nice thing about these uh, Delta is that you can just call Delta and they'll send you a new uh, faucet or whatever you need, whatever you, uh, you have for uh, uh, Delta, their uh, faucets, their cartridges, whatever it is that you need. That uh, as long as you have the receipt and you bought that and you uh, pre uh, just you probably just have to register with them. But in my situation, uh, I built this house. So when I built it, I had their faucets, Delta faucets put in, so their lifetime warranties on them. So now I'm having problems with them, so I'm going to change the next one out over the shower, what's right next door out. But I'm going to show you how to change the cartridge out. It's simple, easy, doesn't take very long to do. Um, all you got to do is get a hold of Delta, and they will send you the new uh, cartridge. And... The cartridge is uh, pretty simple. Uh, once you pull yours out, your 13 series or the 14 series, uh, more than likely it's going to be this bottom part is white, and you, this these part this part actually comes apart. Okay, I'll show you, but um, the bottom part will be white, which is blue now, and you can actually change these little parts that are in here out inside here um, if you want to. Uh, for a cheaper fix, but you might as well just get the whole thing and change out the cartridge is what I would probably recommend. But if you want to go down and get the little gaskets and stuff, they're actually like these, actually, like these little things here, right here, with a little spring and a little gasket part on it. Um, I'll show you where those sit in too. But you can do that for a, a cheaper... Uh, um, you know, change out, but it, there's no guarantee that you're gonna, it's gonna quit leaking. So, but with this whole cartridge, it's gonna, no, it's not gonna leak anymore because then you have these back parts too. Um, so all you're gonna need is pretty much is an Allen wrench. So get your Allen wrenches out, and then just a basic screwdriver, a little screwdriver, just to pry the cartridge out a little. It just gotta be really, uh, uh, don't go over the top with trying to pry it out. Um, everyone's situation is going to be different, of course, because uh, I have a, a, a water softener in my home, so I don't get a big line buildup. Um, I know a lot of people uh, have line buildups because of the uh, hard water, so um, I don't have a big problem with that. As you can see, this is pretty much uh, you know clean and uh, line free. So. Um, this back part doesn't need to come off, so I'm not even going to take the back part off because the back part, uh, the only reason I would take the back part off if it was filthy and dirty and ours is pretty clean, so I'm just going to leave that on there. Uh, same like with this. This slides out too. And uh, let me also show you this. Okay, so when you turn your water on like this, this is uh, uh, standard. All the way to the left is hot. All the way to the right is cold, okay? Standard American uh, setup. Um, if you go all the way to the left, you can get scalded, right? So they have a setup in here for, for children. It's a little white uh, knob. And you can actually set it and dial it. So you can dial it so it only goes that high for to the hot water. So it only stays pretty cold, you know. And you can dial it, you know, to right in the middle so it doesn't get scalding. And you can dial it, you know, all the way down. We have ours dialed all the way down because, you know, we know how to control. Um, everyone's old enough in my family to to know how to control that, okay? Because some kids will get scalded because they'll dump it all the way down to the to the hot, and then that water comes out and it just burns the crap out of. You know, we've all done it ourselves. Not only kids, but so it's actually a good thing for even adults. But um, let me show you where that's at, and uh, let's get to it. This isn't too too difficult. So we're just gonna take our standard Allen wrench and just. There's a hole back here for the handle. We got to disassemble the handle first. So let's get that in here. I don't know if I got the right size out, it's okay. And we're just gonna unscrew it. All right. Now here's that mechanism I was talking about for the child safety protection. Um, it just slides out. So all you do is you just dial it, dial it, dial it. Okay. It's got these little grooves in this part here. All right. So pretty much um, it just dials in. 
uh, so that it doesn't go so far, like I showed you. All right. So that part here, and let's just keep all these parts real close to each other. Then we're gonna take this. This part needs to. This part needs to come off also, and it has like a little washer here. So this is good to have this little screwdriver where we can just pop these little washers out. Make sure that your um, uh, your drain is covered, or you've got you know you've got it closed. Definitely, because you don't want to drop any of this stuff down there because it's not coming back. It's not like a sink where you can, you know, get it out of the pipe. In this one, uh, you're pretty much done. So we can slide this off. This slides off pretty easy, too. We can slide that off. And then we have this part, and we can just slide this part off also, okay? Just remember how it goes. You can take pictures as you go. Use your uh, smartphone as you go. Um, take that off, all right? And then here's the cartridge right here, all this part. And this part is should be just hand tight. It shouldn't you shouldn't have to put any heavy tools on it, you know, pipe wrenches and stuff like that, right? It should be able to be just uh, uh, hand tight. Like I said, there might be different situations though, so you might have to use those tools also. All right. So we're just gonna slide that off also, and just keep everything just in line. Kind of remember how it goes. Now this goes in one way really, um, and it it's. This is good to have this little screwdriver too, because what you're gonna do is just pry it. There's the, the there's the um, soft um, copper, so be real careful because you can push it in and stuff like that. The copper is really soft metal, okay? And then you just want to pry this white thing out here by just prying around it, prying around it. Now this separates, so it might be hard to get out. So just don't don't ruin don't don't wreck your your uh, copper, okay? definitely don't want to do that and so you're just gonna pry it out and it will it does come up apart okay so see it comes apart like this and this is an older one it's got the white backing on it all right but it's been leaking really bad oh make sure you turn your water off you have to turn your water off and open up a couple of drink uh, open up a couple of sink uh, open up a couple of uh, uh, faucets so that it lets all the water out okay and so this separates. Don't be scared if this comes off when you're trying to pull it out because it might. And just make sure that you don't uh, go over the top of trying to uh, remove it, okay? So all we're going to do is uh, just reverse and put this back in there so I can show you how it goes and just put it back in reverse. This new part right here, because I, I got to actually put it in my shower. I just wanted to show you it's easier. I can't get in a stand-up shower with my camera. I'm not going to try to do that. So um, this part right here actually has a new setup for the uh, child safety valve of uh, ch child safety uh, uh, for the heat for the hot water okay so I'll have to look to see how that works but it looks like all I do is just adjust this piece of metal now and it says hotter and colder so it's a real simple setup when you get the new one just take a look at it looks like we're not gonna have to have to worry about the little white part okay so let's go ahead and just put this back in it's the same thing just reverse all right uh, you're gonna see the two holes here and uh, you, if you want, you can flush it out, but I'm not going to worry about flushing mine out. I don't have any, I don't see any buildup of uh, lime or anything in there. So um, I'm assuming that it's pretty, pretty good in there. So I'm not going to flush it out. You might want to turn on your water for a good 20, 30 seconds and flush out whatever and try to clean out, clean out whatever you can, you know, clean it up. You've got everything out, so you can clean this stuff up. Uh, if you want to take your backing off while you're at it, clean that up. So um, do as you like. Um, so let's go ahead and just do it in reverse. Put this back in. I just got a rag anywhere. Uh, no, but I'll use one of my girl shirts. So, all right. Let's just put this back in now. Just look, look at the holes and make sure that you line it up in here pretty good. And then there's two, there's notches in here. You'll see the notches on here, right here. They just line up. It only goes in one way, so just line up your notches. Be patient. Um, this kind of work can be a, a headache. That's why people pay plumbers to come do it, because it can be a pain. So watch a couple of YouTube videos. Watch this one. Watch another one. Whatever get comfortable before you get ready to do it. So we're just going to put that back in. Looks like it's in there pretty well where how it should be. And see now, like this comes off. I'm just going to show you this real quick. It comes off like that. Okay, and these are the parts I was talking about actually. 
this part. Those can be changed out if you want to change them out and go for a cheaper fix, but um, that's where, usually where the leak is at, I'm, I'm guessing. All right, so this can go in. I'm going to take this back out of here, though, and then I'm going to uh, readjust it like that. And this part goes over on this side, okay? That's where the hot water stops at, so we don't get that burn. Uh, that's just where it goes. That's where so the mechanism works. Okay, so let's put this back in here. Take a little maneuver in here. Like I said, everything doesn't just fall into place. It's going to take a while to get everything back in. Okay, so then we're just going to put put the cartridge back in. This is the 1300 series, 1400 series cartridge. I believe, yeah, tower shove valve, okay? So, let's go ahead and pop this back on here. And that might be a little, little bit of work just because it, you want to make sure that's nice and snug and tight on there. But not over the top, okay? You don't have to wrench it down or anything, but you do want to make sure it's on there. Definitely. Alright, I think that's good. And then we're just going to put the sleeve back on here, okay? this back on here I believe and we I want mine to go all the way to hot okay I'm not gonna stop it because uh, we can control it in, in the middle and stuff okay so this is gonna go all the way down because I want mine to go actually like that I want mine to go oh, no that's actually the wrong how do I have that? Oh, okay, like this. See, now I can make it go all the way to hot, cold, hot, cold, okay? And then you can just control it how you want. So mine's going all the way to hot. All right. And then you got to put this little ring back on. But this ring goes back on before this goes on. So we've got to put this little O-ring back on there, okay? To hold the brass part. Uh, for the hot water safety. Okay, so push it all the way back up against it. Alright, and then let's just put this back on again and lock it in and I'm going to have full hot water. Okay, no, that's good. Full hot water. And that's it, basically. And then I'm just going to put the handle back on. Alright. And take your Allen wrench and put it back on. Give it a snug little uh, tight. There you go. And let's see. See, there we go. Now it's all the way. See, now it goes all the way to hot. Go off. Okay. All the way to hot. In the middle, middle, middle. Cold, 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 cold. And then off. All right. So, you guys, that's it on that. Um, just uh, I do recommend getting Delta because it's a, a good uh, it's, a, it's, a, it's a good uh, it's a good piece of equipment, good quality equipment, and it uh, it's lasted a long time. So it's been a while. I've been living here for a, a while. So that is it, and uh, hope that helps you guys out. You guys have a great day, and I will probably be calling Delta to do my uh, sinks in the bathroom because one of them is starting to leak. So I'll probably call them to get a valve or whatever I'm going to need for that. It's probably some O-rings or something. All right, you guys have a great day. Thanks for watching. Appreciate it. Subscribe. Thumbs up. Uh, thank you very much. Have a good day.